Hey guys, it's LBS Honey, and today, uh, oh, one second, guys. Hey, so there's someone at my door. Let's let's check it out. Delivery for LPS Honey. So, turns out it was just the delivery, guys. So let's see what we got. I guess. So let's see. <gasps> Hey guys, it's Elvia Sunny in the flesh, and I can finally tell you all that I have been blessed by the Basic Fun and Littlest Pet Shop team with a whole case of 18 blind boxes to unbox and review for you guys, as well as this little bonus kitty in the display. Basic Fun contacted me back in December, and I have been itching to tell you guys about this. They sent me these LPS to unbox and review for you guys, and I just want to say thank you so much to the Basic Fun team for reaching out to me. I also want to put a disclaimer and say I am not an LPS affiliate. I would absolutely love to be one. As far as I know, they haven't been chosen yet, so Basic Fun. Wink wink, hit your girl up. I'd love to be an affiliate. But in all seriousness, this is an absolute honor. So I can't wait to open these up and review these for you guys. Not only did they send me a full box of their new blind boxes, they also sent me an LPS fanny pack with little goodies inside, which we're also gonna take a look at. And like with all my reviews, even though this product was sent to me for free, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys and be completely honest about the quality, what I think of the pet's designs, everything like that. So if you wanna see all 18 of the blind boxes as well as looking at their quality, their styles, a comparison to the old G2 pets. Keep watching and let's get started. So that's right, the amazing people over at Basic Fun have so kindly gifted me all 18 of the new Littlest Pet Shop blind boxes to unbox and review for you guys. It kind of feels like I'm dreaming right now to finally own these G7 Littlest Pet Shops in my hands. After talking about all the updates for so long, it, it's really surreal. So before we get onto these beautiful blind boxes, let's take a look at the fanny pack and what's included. So here's our fanny pack, and you best believe I'm gonna be rocking this at LPS Con. It has two pockets, and in the back one is our goodies. Included inside are an array of stickers and pins of our new G7 LPS. These are adorable. Some of these pins you may have actually already seen at LPS Con. Favorite sticker is definitely the friendliest panda. And I absolutely love the LPS logo pin. The colors are just so pretty. So that's everything I got in my LPS fanny bag. Huge thank you to Basic Fun for sending me those little goodies. But let's get on to while we're all here, okay? The G7 LPS. We've been waiting for the return of LPS for a long time. And best believe I am not going to hold back in my review. So if you want the honest Honest truth about the new G7 Littlest Pet Shops? Keep watching. Like always, there'll be timestamps in the description down below if you want to skip around, but let's start off with the actual display itself. And truthfully, I love it. I am loving the return to the dark blue packaging. Not only that, but they've also incorporated some light blue and pink into the design, like you can see on the logo, and on the right side with a little pet display window. I think these just look so, so pretty. It really is an eye-catching design, and I love with the logo, it definitely gives you that nostalgic feeling, but also with a modern twist. Some details that I love on the packaging are the inclusion of Series 1 and showing you that they are G7 and numbers 1 to 18, as well as showing you every single pet that is included in all 18 of these blind boxes. Of course, I absolutely love the big panda head on the side, and the absolutely adorable display window showing the Heterochromia Himalayan Cat. On the left side of the box, they really keep the pet shop theme going with a few little pets on display. And on the right side, we can see kind of like a full checklist of all the blind box pets, as well as some information about the Roblox game and a code for you to scan. They've also brung back the nostalgic How Big Is Your Littlest Pet Shop slogan. When I was a kid, the slogan was How Big Is Your Littlest Pet Shop? Now it is How Big Is Your Littlest Pet Shop crew, so a slight difference, but it's cool to see it return. One more thing I want to mention 
mention about the display box is how cool the individual blind boxes look. They've incorporated the panda's face, which is on the front and side of the box. And if you put them together, it looks like a full face on display, which is really cool. Overall, I just want to say whoever did the design and marketing for the blind boxes really hit the nail on the head. So let's take a look at the individual boxes themselves. They're made out of cardboard and I believe all of the packaging in here is 100% recyclable. Two boxes make a full panda head on display. On the other side, they've actually managed to cram a lot of information on the packaging. It advertises the Roblox game, but also tells you everything that's included in your blind box. And then on the back, we have once again, a full list of all 18 pets in the blind box series. Packaging is a definite 10 out of 10 for me. So let's get on to what everyone's been waiting for, the pets themselves. If you're like me and love the packaging, there is a small piece of tape you can cut along the bottom and get into your LPS, no worries, preserving the whole box. So let's see who we got inside. Included in our first blind box, we have our new collector's guide. I love these, you guys know I love these. And it lists every single pet in series one. It also has the personalities, the levels, and the rarities on the back. It's so nice to see a collector's guide again, and it just makes me so, so, so happy. Also inside is our little collector card, so let's take a look at who we got. And it's the walrus! He is a chillest level 3 rare pet and number 17. I mentioned before not really knowing what these cards are going to be used for, so we'll really just have to see, but for now they're a cool collectible item. Also included inside is our little LPS coin for the Roblox game. And here's what it looks like on the other side with a little code you can redeem in the Littlest Pet Shop Roblox game. Inside this wrapping is our pet and accessory, and like I said, it seems like all all of the packaging is recyclable. I'm so excited right now. So there's his accessory. Oh my god! Here's our walrus. This is the first G7 Littlest Pet Shop I'm ever holding in my hand. I feel like I'm gonna cry. Honestly, we have been waiting so long for this moment and it's finally here. I'm gonna change camera angle now to my regular filming angle to show you these pets up close and personal. My honest first reaction to this pet is he's pretty cute. I feel like the eyes are huge and I really do love this kind of icy blue color they've given him. I also like the inclusion of the little flower marks on his head and cheek. And his accessory is this really cute little fishing LPS bucket, which is a classic G2 accessory. Let's talk about quality and differences though. As you guys may know, and I've mentioned in previous updates, the G7 Littlest Pet Shops are using a new way to paint their pets. Previously, small details had been hand painted on with the G2 Littlest Pet Shops, but the new G7 line of pets are machine printed. Now that's all fine and dandy and honestly kind of a industry norm, but I was really interested to see how it would come across on LPS. Overall, I think the printing's done fairly well. The eyes are printed on really nicely. The muzzle kind of nose area seems to be slightly off center, but not to the point where it doesn't look like it's meant to. Their heads also seem to be made of a squishier plastic compared to your regular G2 pets. Yeah, nothing major, but it is a difference I want to bring up to you guys. The bobble is still there and feels just like it used to, and the clickety clacks are clacking like always. There's a little walking test for you guys. Oh yeah, that's that good stuff. Overall, I think he's a pretty cute walrus, so let's move on to our next pet. Our second LVS is Lilith's Pet Shop number 8, and it is the adorable Snow Bunny. I'm actually really excited about this pet because it comes with a brand new accessory, which is its scarf. He is also a chillest Lilith's Pet Shop. He is level 1 and a core pet. So here he is. He is really cute, and I do really love his simplistic design. I remember when he first got revealed on Instagram, he got a lot of unnecessary hate, and I just didn't understand why. Seeing him in person, his colors are so nice and crisp, and he's really well printed. Here's the back of him, for anyone wondering, he does have a little blue tail. Two little details I forgot to mention on the walrus is that they do have the classic LPS stamp on them, and a hole underneath. 
These pets do not contain magnets. Chillest mark is on his cheek and honestly blink and you'll miss it. I didn't even realize he had a mark on him. His accessory is this blue stripey scarf. It's a bendable plastic so you can fit it on multiple LPS and I really love it. Here he is fully dressed up and I just think he looks adorable. If you were one of the people that hated on him on Instagram, shame on you. This guy's a cutie patootie. Our third pet is pet number six and it is the caterpillar. He's a sassiest pet, level one, and also a core pet. Here he is in all his glory with his classic G2 drink bottle. A common issue I saw a lot of people being worried about was graininess in the printing of their eyes. And so far, they're three for three. I've not really seen any graininess in any of these pets' eyes, and they seem to be done really well. Now, obviously, I can't speak for every single Lilith pet shop because there will be discrepancies in printing, but I just wanted to say so far, the three pets I've opened have all had really nice, clean eyes. This one's looking pretty good as well. I will say most of the blind box pets do have very simplistic designs. That's definitely reminiscent of G2 blind boxes as well, so it's nothing out of the norm. So far, the only thing really throwing me off is that their heads are so much more squishier, so it does feel a little different to the touch, but not in a big way that's like really off-putting. It still feels like a G2 LPS, especially a new out-of-box pet that has that clean feel over it. It's just so satisfying. Our next pet is pretty much the mascot for the whole G7 relaunch, and that is is the black and white panda LPS number one he is a friendliest pet level two and an exotic this panda without a doubt was one of my most anticipated pets of the G7 launch and I think a lot of people can agree that we all love his very unique eyes with the love hearts and like the little love hearts on the head it's just a really cute design overall and he definitely delivers. He is such a cute, chubby little guy. Here is the back of him with his LBS logo. And I just love how he looks. I'm actually convinced that the body is a new panda mold. So I will be comparing that later in this video. Because he looks a bit chubbier compared to the G2 version of this panda. That could just be me thinking that though. But overall, I love this pet. I love that they gave him heart eyes. It's just a, such a cute, unique feature. And I think I speak for everyone in the LPS community when I say we hope that they do more of these kind of personality eye types. Just listen to those clickety clacks guys, like, ah, oh, they're so crisp. This little guy's accessory is a piece of bamboo, and I actually believe it is a new, unique mold. G2 LPS did have bamboo shoots, but they looked completely different to this one, so it's cool to see if it is a new accessory. This little guy is definitely my favorite so far. I think a lot of you guys are going to like this next pet because I know I'm excited for it. It is LPS number 18. It is a hungriest pet, level 2, and exotic, and it is a lioness. The saber tooth tiger mold or lioness mold is one of my favorite LPS molds of all time, so I am excited to see it get a new addition. This one is part of the hungriest kind of personality type and at first I was kind of baffled as to where they put the mark on this pet because I just couldn't see it but that's when I realized they hit it so perfectly in the ears. Instead of giving this pet just a random big teardrop somewhere on its body, they so masterfully hit it as part of the ear design and I really like that. I really hope they continue to do sneaky little designs like that. Personally, I would have loved to have seen this LPS have a bit more color on the body because it is just one solid color down there. But overall, I really like the design. It is such a vibrant orange and definitely just a really pretty and unique looking pet, honestly. This one's accessory is a little bucket of leaves. Kind of interesting considering it's a lion, so maybe maybe he's on a vegetarian diet. The sixth blind box is this adorable baby bird. He is number nine and he is a sportiest pet, level one, and a core. So here he is straight out of the packaging and he is so tiny. If you didn't know, this mold was originally used as a pet triplets bird, so it's a pretty unique mold that they've only used once in the past. 
So seeing it come back all these years later as a G7 pet is pretty cool. I will have to say though, I'm not the biggest fan of this one's color design. The yellow is so bright and I feel like they could have incorporated the yellow a bit better and more creatively than just slapping it on the face. I think the yellow feather up here looks really cool. And I like how they did the body. It's very seagull reminiscent. Of course, I love his accessory being this surfboard. So that is just my personal opinion, not liking the yellow as much. The pet in general is very cute and well printed from what I can see. Something I want to mention before we continue is that if you're lucky enough to buy or get a whole crate of these blind boxes, it's super easy to get to the next level. You just pull out this piece of cardboard and you can get to the next line of them without having to destroy anything. Blind box number seven, we have the chameleon. He is number 13, a hungriest pet, level one and a core LPS. So here is our little chameleon. I'm really liking the colors. I feel like it definitely suits this pet and the designs over it as well. Like they've really nicely incorporated the little teardrop design into this chameleon. I feel like this one's design in general just really resonates old G2 LPS and I love that. And I know there's a lot of chameleon LPS fans out there. So I know you guys are gonna be happy with this one. He also comes with a little bamboo stick like our panda. Eight this pet is an anteater and I'm very excited about this pet because I personally only have one anteater in my collection and I love the colors they used for this pet. It's number 15, a sassiest pet, level three, and a rare one. Guys, no joke, I think I found my new favorite LPS. I love this anteater, holy crap. Look at her, she is so cute. The pink colors that they chose are so Pretty. I love seeing more unique LPS like this one brought to life and it's such a cool mold. I feel like it's such a unique animal to bring into LPS and I'm so glad that they decided to include it in the blind boxes. It's definitely my favorite one that I've opened so far. I think it's so pretty. I love the stars on the butt. It's just adorable. Like it's very simple, but the colors go so nicely together with like the green eye and ugh. Can I just say I love how he has a little hand open ready to grab something. And that something is their accessory, which is a little banana. Overall, this is definitely my favorite blind box pet I've opened so far. I'm waiting for Target to open their doors so I can buy a new G7 LPS. Blind box number nine is our shark LPS. He is number 14, sportiest level one and a core pet. And from him being wrapped up back here, it looks like he also comes with a surfboard. Yep, he comes with the exact same surfboard as our little pet triplets bird we got earlier. So it seems like there is some repeats of accessories in these blind boxes, much like the bamboo sticks. Here's our shark. He is very cute. I love the minty color they chose. And honestly, that's just something I kind of like about all of these blind box pets is that Overall, the colors they chose are really nice. Obviously, they're blind box pets, so they're not going to have super intricate details, but I think the colors and patterns that they have chosen have worked really nicely. Still moving forward, I haven't really seen any graininess in their eyes, which was a big concern people had moving forward. However, on my shark, if you can see on his fin, there is a tiny bit of graininess in his little lightning bolt. This isn't something super major, and it probably isn't even showing up on camera that well but small painting errors or discrepancies like this are kind of to be expected and overall I'm just happy that the eyes are nice and clean and haven't had any graininess issues so far. Also, our shark LPS has the same little hole at the bottom as the other ones. And box number 10 is super exciting because it is our purple poodle. This is one of the LPS that the Littlest Pet Shop Instagram account teased leading up to the release of them. It is LPS number two, a sassiest pet, level one, and a core pet shop. I hope you guys are liking this one as much as I am because she is serving me everything right now. She is made to be put on display. Just, just look at her, bask in her glory. Look at that stance. She knows she is the it girl. This is another pet where they've really kind of masterfully hidden the little star logo on her. They're just above the eyes here. 
Some of their logos are quite big and others are very small and well hidden like this one, which is kind of nice. I do prefer these smaller logos or logos that kind of blend into the pet like we saw with our lion's ears. So this poodle just having small stars above the eyes doesn't bother me at all and I think it looks really nice. I like the colors that they used. I find it really interesting that they matched the fur color with the eyes. I feel like that's not something you really see in G2 LPS at least and it's cool to see like a cohesive pattern where the eyes don't stand out but kind of blend into the design as well. And her accessory of course is a little hairbrush which is actually the same shade of blue as the bows on her head. Our 11th pet is the extremely adorable Asha. It is number 7, a friendliest pet, level 2 and an exotic. This has been a fan favorite going into the blind boxes and I can definitely see why. Look at her, she is the cutest little thing. Having this super pastel baby pink body with some lighter pink highlights and this is another pet where they have masterfully hidden her little logos. She has teeny tiny hearts in her ears. Not only that but her LPS logo is also in a pastel pink which I think is so cute. I think we can all agree that the Otter mold is one of the cutest G2 pet molds that exists and I'm so excited to see it come back in G7. This is another one of my favorites. I think I'm just really enjoying the pink pets. I'm not gonna lie but she, she's just so cute. I love her. I love the colors so much. And her accessories are these little red binoculars, a classic G2 accessory. She looks so goofy. 12th pet is this purple panda and fun fact it's actually a color variant of LPS number one the black and white panda this one is number 16 it's a friendliest pet level 2 and an exotic I like how in his picture he has a little like bamboo bed in the forest there's our purple grape little panda and I'm really interested to hear what you guys think of this pet because like I mentioned it is a color variation of an already existing pet in the these blind boxes. For me personally, I don't mind because like I said before, the Panda LPS in these blind boxes is probably one of the best designs Basic Fun has done so far with the little heart eyes, the colors, the pose, everything. I just think it's a really cute pet. So them doing another one, even though it is the same design, just different colors, doesn't bother me that much at all because it's a design I really like. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you like this color variation or do you think they should have done another pet design. Like I said, I'm completely fine with it, but I'm really interested to see what the community has to say. Their accessory, just like the black and white panda, is a little bamboo stick. That's level two of the blind boxes done. Let's move on to our last six boxes. Our next pet is number five, and it is a return to a very exciting LPS, which is the bull mold. He's a sportiest pet, level one, and a core Lilith pet shop. So here he is. I really love the gradient that they put around his face. I think this is one of the few pets that actually have gradient on them which is really exciting. Overall the colors are really nice. He's kind of like a sherbet orange color with these little lightning bolt streaks on each side. But you guys know I keep it real with you so his eyes don't have the best printing. Like I said before discrepancies blah blah blah. But it's just something I wanted to point out to you guys. Not every single LPS is going to look perfect because they are machine printed now. So this is just something to take into consideration. It's definitely not a deal breaker for me and honestly not that noticeable. And if you had a bit of white paint, you can make it look crisp and clean in your own spare time. But I just wanted to point it out because like I said, I'm being honest with you guys. I'm telling you what I really think of these pets. And the eyes are definitely something that I noticed on this pet. Besides that, I think he looks adorable. Like I said, loving the gradient, loving the colors. So happy for the bull to finally return to LPS form. And his included accessory is a little LPS trophy. Very fitting, my man just won best in show. 15th the blind box contains LPS number 11. It is a pelican. He's a chillest pet, level two and an exotic. I'm actually really excited to get this one because I really don't own that many pelicans. And here he is. He looks so cute. I'm loving the big beak. Like I said, I don't own a lot of pelicans. So for me, this is almost like a new mold. And I'm really happy to have gotten him. 
I love that his little wings are up at the back as well. So there's a lot of people online get him in blind boxes and be very happy with his design, which makes me so excited that non-popular LPS designs are getting so much more love now. And something that's cool about this pet is he comes with a unique accessory that we've never really seen before, and that is a little fish skeleton. Next LPS is Lilith's Pet Shop number 10, a Sassiest Pet, level 1, and a core LPS. And coincidentally, my most wanted LPS from these blind boxes. I've mentioned it in previous videos, but I could not wait to get my hand on this King Charles Spaniel. She is gorgeous. I know it's cliche for LBS tubers to like dogs and cats, but I have been so excited for this pet and to now finally see her in person. I am ecstatic. Colors are so nice. Her little highlighted ears and front paws and matching white LPS logo on the back. This pet was definitely worth the wait. She also has these really pretty piercing blue eyes which match her accessory. And speaking of, her accessory is this teeny tiny little boat. I think this may be a new accessory but I'm not 100% sure so I'll let you guys know on screen but I think it might be. But yes, this is my favorite pet from the blind boxes, hands down, so happy to have her. Continuing on the trend of our dogs, we have LPS number 12, who is a fanciest pet, level 1 and a core, and it is Her Majesty, the LPS Corgi. Royal she is. We have this beautiful cream corgi with white highlights. I love the pattern that they put on the middle of her face. The eyes are slightly printed off center for me. I don't know if you guys can see, but the blue doesn't fully connect from each side of the eyes. Again, nothing major, but I did want to point out to you guys. The back of her looks great, and the LPS logo on her actually matches the color of her nose, which is a really cute little peachy color. Like a lot of people, when I first saw this corgi, I thought it was the same one that is in one of their newest play sets, this one here. But these two are actually different. They have similar designs, but they are two completely different pets. And of course, her accessory is this beautiful LPS crown. It's made out of a pretty bendable plastic, and I just love how goofy she looks with this thing on. All hail Her Majesty, Queen G7 Corgi. Our 17th blind box contains LPS number 4, which is the Himalayan Cat. It is a Chillis pet, level 1, and a core LPS. And it is the exact same pet on display in this blind box set. So if you buy all 18 LPS, new in their display you will get two of this pet here she is in all her glory i don't know whose idea it was to give her heterochromia but whoever did you are a genius my sir because this pet is adorable and honestly was the talk of the town when she was first announced also her little marks are expertly hidden in her ears being a chillest pet and a nice little detail is that they painted her tail at the back as well to match her ears and the little tuft on the top of her head she also has this really nice gradient on her face similar to the bull i honestly think she might be one of the most detailed pets in these blind boxes and definitely going to be a fan favorite i can already tell her accessory is a little dog bowl filled with lemonade for anyone curious i will be taking the other Himalayan cat out of the display so we can show them side by side but for now let's get on to our final blind box. The final blind box contains Lilith's pet shop number three our Clydesdale horse. He's a friendliest pet level one and a core pet and if you know me you know I love the Clydesdale LPS. I even customized one a few years ago so seeing it get more love with generation seven is super exciting for me because it is such a a beautiful and underrated mold. It has such a strong pretty body with the big bushy tail, the fluffy legs, and on this one specifically it's tiny little heart print on the back showing that it's a friendliest LPS. And overall this pet just has such a pretty design with the white muzzle, the brown mane, and the blue eyes. This accessory is a little green bucket possibly for you to put some carrots in there for him. And I'm really glad we actually get to finish on this pet because he is just such a nice one to end all of these 18 blind boxes 
box is on. So let's take one last look at all 18 of these LPS together and then I'll give you guys some little information. We'll compare the Himalayan cats and I'll let you know where you can check out more LPS. Let's get you out of this display. Here's our two Himalayan cats side by side. The one on the right is from the display box and the one on the left is the one we opened in our blind boxes. There's pretty much no difference. There's a slight difference in the gradient on this one's face, but I honestly just think that's part of the printing process and not meant to be an actual difference. So if you are curious, there is no difference between the display Himalayan cat and the one you get in your blind boxes. Here are all 18 of our blind box pets. After opening all 18 of them, I can say I am so happy with wave one of these blind boxes. The variety in animals and designs and even colors is so nice and refreshing. Not only that, but seeing details like different colored eyes, different methods of shading, and even things like the heart eye types returning on specific pets. So cool to see, and I'm glad Basic Fun is bringing them back and taking note of what us collectors want to see. I know a lot of people, including myself, were worried about quality control with them being machine painted now, myself included. But now that I've had them in my hands, I can very happily say that they're great quality. Yes, the plastic on the heads is slightly different, and there may be a few misaligned printed parts here and there, but overall, there are great G2 LBS bought into the modern age. LBS have always had little printing flaws here and there, like forever. Maybe you guys don't remember, but so many of my G2 pets have little paint splotches on the bodies or misaligned eyes. It's kind of just what comes with these products. And I think so far, Basic Fun has done a really excellent job in keeping up the quality and keeping down the price. I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the LBS G7 rollout has already started, and many people have actually been able to find them at the local targets and game stops. Places like Toys R Us Canada and Smith's in England have also been seen carrying the new G7 pets. But there's a lot of us still waiting for LPS to hit store shelves locally and Basic Fun are aware of that. They told me in an email that they are doing everything they can to kind of roll these LPS out and get them into collectors' hands as soon as possible. So don't worry, LPS are definitely on a way to a store near you. But if you're like me and don't want to wait, you could always order them over on Amazon. There is a whole Littlest Pet Shop store over there and I will leave a link in the description down below where you can check them out. I'll also leave a link down below to the Littlest Pet Shop official Instagram where they are keeping everyone updated as much as they can on the rollout of LPS but also on new LPS designs and the Roblox game. So please do check out the links in the description down below if you want to get your hands on these new pets and also keep up to date on all the future releases of Lilith's Pet Shop. With all this being said, I want to say a massive thank you to the team over at Basic Fun for sending me this LPS to show you guys. Many of you know I've been posting update videos about the release of LPS and now to finally have them in my hands and be able to update you guys on what they look like, how they feel, everything like that has been so exciting and I honestly am so grateful and can't thank Basic Fun enough for this opportunity. It's very easy to look at the release of LPS and be critical, especially because we've been waiting for so long, but I think we should all appreciate that they're even back to begin with. The fact that we have G2 Littlest Pet Shop coming back as G7 in 2024 is amazing. Childhood Maddie probably wouldn't believe it if I told her and I'm so, so happy that they're finally back. I'm going to end this video here, but I'm going to leave you guys with some clips of my new G7 LPS with their G2 counterparts. I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing and I hope you could all get the information and close-ups and details you wanted showing these new blind box pets. I'm so excited to get my little paws on more G7 LPS moving forward and I can't wait to see them hit shelves here in Australia. But like I said, if you guys want to keep updated with the releases, make sure to check out the links in the description down below as well as the Amazon link if you want to order some for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, like always, please don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. And let me know down below, have you been able to find any G7 pets yet? Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time with a new video. Bye guys!